Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to answer a question that I have been looking for. Can you do the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt solar panels, 100 watts, can we do them in series to increase the voltage? We're gonna answer that question right now. First thing you have to do is put MC4 connectors on the end of the wires and you know cut off the one that came with it. Uh, this will allow you to daisy chain these and become series. Generally, all the stuff that Harbor Freight does is it, it makes it into parallel so you can keep the 18 volts that it puts out and just continually raise the amps. But we need six panels per, uh, per solar array here. We have two solar arrays, so we're gonna make three panels which should give us somewhere along the line of 300 watts of 75-ish volt output. All right, so let's, we're gonna test these and see the output right now. I'm on volts. They're setting direct sunlight. It's really good sunlight. We're holding about 20 volts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and say these are uh, open, open circuit. We're gonna call these 25. Uh, but uh, right now in direct sunlight, we're getting 20 volts on this one. And we're gonna try this on each set. And I think that's important to get a gauging of how each one works. I'm using my Kuwait's uh, 601 multimeter. This thing is awesome. It's about the size of a cell phone. It's not overly expensive. If you're doing a lot of this stuff here, I think you should get a decent multimeter. Again, 19.9, uh, that one's 19.9 as well. So that one's pretty much exactly the same. And let's do this one here. And we'll, now even though they are 19, we have to consider open circuit voltage because we don't want to short our system out. This one is 20.07. So it could be just the different angle or just a little bit different. It's inefficiency of the, so close it doesn't matter, but are the suns just at a different angle? Let's see here, do one more time. 19.89, so 20 volts is the output right now. So talking about open circuit, when you're talking about open, open circuit voltage, you need to think about the perfect scenario that you can damage your equipment. On the cloudy days of the winter, you're not gonna get full voltage out of these. You're not gonna get full amps out of these. You have to make sure that on that perfect sunny day in the middle of the summer when these panels are peak performance, that they don't over voltage your system. So the book says this is 18 volt working, 18.5 volt working output, but we wanna talk about open voltage. The open voltage is the very, very peak voltage that it could be. And there's very little literature on this. So we're gonna go a little bit over. Right now we're, we're clocking uh, 20 volts at this angle, which is almost perfect sun for these. But we're gonna go ahead and call them 25 volts open circuit voltage. So each one of these, this will be 75 volts. We'll count this as, uh, yes, 75 volts, yeah. My math, hey, I got weekly counting math, what can I say? 75 volts at the peak output. All right, what we're doing now is, we're, again, we're just gonna test this. Sun's a little different, 19.74 volts. And this is the other panel. Again, testing it, 19.84. So what we're gonna do is take the, of this panel, we're gonna take the female, and then we're gonna take the positive and click together. Now we're going to have the positive of this panel and the negative of this panel, and we're gonna check our voltage. We should be close to 40 volts. 39.59, so this absolutely will run in series. I don't think we need to go more than uh, three panels because our system that we're gonna be testing, this is our, our learning system. It's an all-in-one system that we're putting together and it has a maximum uh, working open voltage input of 85 volts. So with these three panels being 75, or you know, 75 total, 25 each, uh, I think we're gonna be really safe. Now let's go ahead and see if we can run three Again, on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the female of this panel, and this is called series. You're gonna take the female of, female of this panel, put into the male of this panel. Female of this panel, put in the male of that panel. And then what it does is it multiplies the voltage or increases the voltage, adds the voltage, basically what it does. 
All right, nothing blew up. That's a good sign. It's always a good sign. Male of this one, now we're using the female of that one, and this one is in a middle and series. I've worked with this stuff, a lot, you know, I've worked with voltage and a lot throughout my career. It's a, hot, a lot easier to uh, do it than it is to explain it. Perfect, 59.45, 55.49 DC volts. I've got my, I'll set this on auto. All right, one more time. We've got the positive wire of the first panel and the negative wire of the second panel. And that is in series, which is 25, 25, and 25. And reality is right now we're putting out about 20, 20, 20. So we should get close to 60 volts. I've got my multimeter set on automatic. Again, we'll try it one more time. And we are at 59.72 volts. That's about as close as we're gonna get, considering each one of the panels were uh, each one of the panels were doing 20, you know, 19, 19.9 volts. So yeah, that's pretty daggum accurate, pretty good. So the way our system will be set up. So if you're interested in this, follow us on our build. We're gonna be putting a video out on the complete solar build. We will have four sets of three. So we're gonna have series and parallel put together to have maximum wattage for our system, which will take in eventually, the, the one system will take in 1400 watts. And I think this is gonna be a perfect match. And I hope this answered the question with Harbor Freight panels. Yes, you can run them in series.